Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is my road to glory. Well, it's more like a road to end, really. Basically, it's going to be a road to glory where I just basically take it to the end of FIFA 12 if I can. Just building a team, and I might give it away at the end if anyone still wants to play FIFA 12 at the end. But I've got this gamer tag off of a guy from Twitter called Jay Lugo, I think it was, which is an absolute lad. That's why the gamer tag is something which I probably wouldn't have, but it's his. He's given it to me because it's got some Xbox Live, and he's not using it. I didn't have any three months trials left so I'd have to pay for it which I didn't feel was you know I just didn't really want to pay for it. a whole new one he was kind enough to give me his one because my Mr. Rossi 1990 account was obviously hacked that's the only other one I got with Xbox Live but I'm not allowed to touch that team apparently because I'm still trying to get the contents of that team back or some coins compensation because of what happened but as you can see we started off with a pretty poor team we got a couple of English players in there so that's the theme we're going to start off with it's just going to be a like all out road to glory. I'll chop and change my team all the time. But if anyone wants to like mention a specific league or player or something you want me to build this around, then feel free and see if it gets some thumbs up and we'll go with that. I know a lot of people probably didn't really want to be seeing a road to glory, but it's just what I want to be doing right now. I'm getting a bit annoyed with the trade in. It's a nice little spicy attempt there and a goal, which puts us 1 0 up in this game. But as I said, I'm getting quite annoyed with the trading feel as if I have to do it all the time. I just want to do it when I feel like. Well, I felt like I want to do it, if that makes sense. Like, not all the time feeling pressured. It's kind of YouTube turning into a job kind of moment there. So I'm going to lay off the trading a little bit with the market crash. Well, I've gone really bad. But I've got a trading series coming out with the Fluda soon. I've got this Road to Glory. Pack openings will continue. And trading. So that gives us a bit of variety on my channel. A lot of people have been saying they haven't really had much gameplay. And I've realised that. So we took out a 2-0 into half. I'm sorry, I'm not really talking about the game much. just going on in the background. But yeah, so there's a bit of gameplay onto this channel now, which I think it was lacking because I did used to do Road to Glory. A lot of people liked that. I had my Road to Recovery, which kind of faded out because I lost a lot of footage for that. I just thought it'd be pointless. Skipping a load of episodes. Nice little chip there from this guy. This guy turned out to be quite a little beast, actually. Not too sure how you say his name, like Mark Quiz or something like that. I think he was a Millwall. And I think I'm talking a bit fast, but I'm just going to have to keep up, unfortunately. <laughs> so I just ran on. And yeah, so he gets quite a lot of goals, I think, in the first couple of games. That's pretty decent, but as you can see here, he gets a little sweaty goal there. He actually had a Leroy Lita up front. I, I think it was Leroy Lita. And yeah, he didn't actually pace abuse me as much as I thought he would. So obviously my defenders, I think one of them is actually like 40 at pace. Leroy Lita coming at me with his pace would be destroying, but we just, we're just on form. I'm playing decent football at the moment on FIFA. Obviously... A lot of people are probably saying, oh, these aren't great goals, but oh, these bronze players are so bad, some of them. So a lot of goals you'll see are, you know, the regular, like, finesse shots, the one-twos, the tramps, the sweaty crosses. It's quite a good work to go. I think you might think that's a bit sweaty, but I thought it was well worked. A little dink into my one silver guy I got, which was Marnie. Not sure whether I get rid of him or not. I think I keep hold of him. But as you can see, we're getting it behind again. Look at that for a goal. That's a, that is a nice, nice finish with the old fake shot about moving. I love that. Looks fantastic. Just kicks for there. So, yeah, he turned out to be the, probably the player of the episode. We do end up replacing him in the next episode, I do think, because I like to build my team from the front, as I'm sure a lot of people do. I always buy strikers first, maybe get the one or two midfielders in there, and then build my defence. But look at that, absolute domination, and the 6-1 win gets us a nice, healthy amount of coins. And we go straight into a little bit of pack opening. Of course, just try to get some contracts, and if we get a lucky player, then we're not complaining. Unfortunately, this pack, we didn't get anyone amazing. I just kept a couple of them, traded off a couple of them as well. Quite a lot of Koreans in there. I think it's free in there. Trying to trade them off. We did get a shiny contract, which will help us out in the future. Also got a kit, which I think I make active. I'm not 100%. Yes, I do. There it is. Active kit. And we discard that last thing. I think we go buy another pack. Am I right? Yes, we buy another pack. And who do we get in this pack? We get no shiny players again. I'm not sure if we keep any of them for the actual team. Might keep some of them for the bench. Etc. I got a couple of contract cards. A shiny card in this pack was a all-player morale card, and we get a stadium, which I make my active stadium for some reason. So yeah, if you want to leave in the comments somebody you want me to go for, pop, you know, like a league, a country, or as I said, just a player we can base this around in, in within reason. Obviously, I don't have many coins at all at the moment. This guy's got. I'm thinking he's obviously just started as well. He's got same manager as me. I did actually get the bronze English manager. 
So that kind of made me want to build an England team just off the start, just to get that good chemistry going into the game so we can pick up some wins. But as you can see, we sweat one horribly there and get that goal by Marquez. I do, I can't, is that what he's called? I'm not really too sure. Please correct me in the comments about that one. That's actually 2-0, so I've obviously missed a goal there, which is a bit of a shitter. So... Yeah, that's fair editing by me, but we'll, we'll have to deal with that. I have actually gone two 0 up there by the looks of things. That's another sweaty goal, my bad. But he's just a beast, this guy. I'm quite enjoying playing with this guy at the moment. As I said, I'm not really too sure who he is. I do think he plays for Millwall, but I might be wrong there. I'm pretty sure it's Millwall, and I'm pretty sure he's quite young as well. I think he's like 1992 or something along those lines. But we nick in here quite nicely. The fake shot, and he absolutely cracks him. So that is definitely a penalty. I think... 100% sure I think we missed the penalty. Let's have a little look. It's Callum Davidson, the lefty. And boom! No, he scores that, thank God. I do miss a lot of penalties. I seem to... I try and get it as close to the corner as possible, and that results in sometimes me hitting the post and sometimes me missing. And that's actually how that one finished, a 4-0. So we did miss a goal there in that episode. I'm not really too sure where the hell that went. I probably wasn't even recording uh, me because my PVR is a piece of shit. You have no idea. I've had... Oh, and I want to just say I haven't had a video in ages. I've had some horrible problems. Originally, my PVR failed. Every time I recorded anything, it would just fail on me. It would do that corrupt file thing. You wouldn't even be able to look at the video. Then my internet fucked up. And I'm, I'm getting a new internet now. That'll be next week sometime. And then my laptop failed on me. My laptop's been failing on me quite a, from quite some time now. So that's not really surprising that that's messing up. So we had some horrible problems. So I haven't really had a video in about a week now, I think. Which is kind of disappointing because I was trying to do every other day uploads which I'm hoping to get back to us why kind of started a road to glory they're quite you know they're quite fun to do and they keep me going they get you can get a lot of videos out and then hopefully you enjoy that we actually win that game 6-0 which is quite insane I'm watching this in Sony Vegas and the screen is so blurry I can't really see what's going on so forgive me there that's a, I think I was 18 shots but as again I can't really see that and we jump back in and buy some more bronze packs do we get a shiny player this episode no we do get a squad fitness which we do send to the the trade bar because they are currently selling for 1k i do believe and at the start of a road to glory 1k is a lot of coins to be picking up a couple of bronze players with so we don't quite well to pick that out of a pack and we get a shiny player in this pack as well as a vaz tay which i end up keeping hold of and putting him into the team he's okay but i would have wished that was the informed one but obviously he's not informed this week so we got the regular 63 version and we go by our first signing which is Jamel Johnson he's a left mid in league two and we end up putting him straight in the team into left mid I do believe and go into this game against this guy who has got a pretty poor team he's I can't really think of I don't know any of them players I think the Finnegan is it Carl Finnegan up front the English one I do believe he used to play for Newcastle or something like that we get him behind with Vaz Tay, and I think he's left footed, so I end up fake shotting it in, and that's a nice finish into the corner from Vaz Tay. So he is up front at the moment. I probably should have shown you the team before, but obviously messed up the clips for some reason. Episode 2, we'll sort that out. I've been a bit slacking on Sony Vegas. I've obviously just lapped them over like a douchebag. So we go in at halftime at 1 0 through Vaz Tay's early goal. I think it was early, I couldn't really see what time that was. But yeah, we're not really having a good time with it. This game 1-0 is probably about a fair result at halftime. But then we get pace abusing down the wing with this guy. Who's actually not that quick, but he's pace abusing. Look at him go. And he's just, just nicking past all of them. Unlucky with that strike. And then on the edge of the area, that's a bullet of a strike from Hartman. Hartman, something like that. I think he's German. We've got German and the French midfielders at the moment. Uh, cross comes in from the corner, sweaty he go by Leggy, which I think is the centre back, he is horrible pace, I think he's like 50, which is dreadful, he might even be lower than that, but we end up changing that, look at that hack, beautiful, hacking at half time, hacking at full time, love it, and yes, that game ends 3-0, and I think that's going to be the end of this episode just about, let's just see what this last bit is, I think it's me showing the team, is it? No, we're buying another pack. Holy shit! We're buying a 750, 850 pack. I'm not sure. Three rares. And we get a centre mid English 433 player. We keep hold of him and he goes straight into centre mid. So we're getting a lot of English players. So that is basically the theme at the moment. But I don't want it to be English. 
I'd rather it be something else. So if you can basically leave in the comments what you want to see. That's the team at the moment. We haven't actually put that centre mid in yet. We've got Vazte up front, as you can see, Marquez or whatever he's called, and Jamel Johnson. So that's the end of the episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please leave a like. See if we can get about 500 likes on this episode. It would be absolutely amazing and want me to make more. Then leave in the comments what you want to see in the episodes to come, and I will hopefully deliver. So thank you very much. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with some more of these videos soon. So thank you very much. And